Hi folks, Peter Lawn here. Welcome to part two of a series of videos in which I will provide a rundown on some cool features of my quality of life mod for the game Icarus First Cohort. This part two video is going to focus on getting set up to start a new mission using some of the bundled workshop kits I have created. We're assuming at this point you've already successfully installed my quality of life mod from my GitHub page after having watched part one video on downloading and installing the mod on my YouTube site. Let's start Icarus and we'll select our character. Head over to the workshop and get suited up. The first thing you will need for your mission will be an Enviro suit. And not any Enviro suit. My modified Zygo S5 II is ideal. For only 50 Ren to research and 25 Ren to craft, this is the only seat needed as you can get fantastic hot cold protection as well as water, food, and oxygen slots and four total auxiliary slots. So we'll purchase this suit and head over to the seed section in the workshop where I've made a few alterations. Now at minimum you should purchase Pete's starter loadout kit, the one with this helmet icon. This kit, which replaces the original carrots seed packets, provides you with some awesome gear right away that contains everything you need to protect yourself right out of the pod. It unbundles bow, arrows, knife, axe, pickaxe, as well as a fully charged water canteen and O2 tank. We'll go into further detail when we drop into the planet. Optionally, you can also purchase Pete's starter cabin kit. This kit, which replaces the berry seed packet, will unbundle to provide all your housing needs, including enough building parts to create a stone cabin right away, including cabin, uh, campfire and bedroll, along with the starter benches you need to get going. And lastly, if you're a farmer like I am, you can optionally purchase Pete's All Seeds Farming Packet, uh, which is the icon of the rhubarb, which will contain all the seeds in the game that you can unbundle when your base is more fully set up with crop plots. All right, let's start the mission and see the enhancements in action. We'll start with selecting the Olympus map and picking the Beachhead Recon mission. When your loadout screen comes up, the first thing you will notice is that the mod has doubled the number of loadout slots available in your drop pod. We'll prepare our environment suit first, then bring in Pete's starter loadout kit and Pete's starter cabin kit, which we'll unbundle when we hit the planet. Let's confirm and launch the mission. Now one thing to note is that with these bundled kits, all the gear you bring with you is not recoverable when you leave the drop. So you will have to repurchase these kits each time you initiate a mission, open world or outpost. It's not too much of an issue though, as they only cost one Ren each time you purchase them. All right, when we have finally landed, let's take everything out of the drop pod before venturing out. In the inventory screen, right mouse click on Pete's starter loadout kit and consume it. The first thing you will notice is you'll be completely outfitted with an ST700 armor kit and a backpack and all the tools to get uh, to resource gathering. I do a couple of things right away to first get my gear properly set up. Move the torch in your hotbar over to the L slot down below here and the water canteen and the O2 tank um, into the suit slots. I also give you a stack of 20 dried meat that you can move into the food slot right away. This, this sets you up to auto feed uh, water, oxygen and food. You also are outfitted with 10 anti-poison and 10 antibiotic tonics, which I like to move into my hotbar slots and these will prepare you for mining once you have your base set up. Right mouse click on your arrow bundle and consume it. You will see you are now equipped with 100,000 Larkwell arrows that will last you basically for the entire mission and then some. I've also included three modules in the loadout kit that will auto-equip to your auxiliary slots that have some special abilities. These are optional, so if you don't want the capability they offer, simply move them out of your suit slots to your inventory and the effects are removed. There are two speed boost modules, each providing 50% increase in movement speed over and above the base movement speed increase already provided with the mod. My preference is to remove them as I find they add more speed than I want, but it's your game, you decide. The other module is called Pete's Resource Killer. With this module equipped in the suit slot, all rocks, ores, and trees will be mined with one hit. It's a builder's dream, and I guarantee you will fall in love with it. 
enjoying grinding out the old-fashioned way, just remove the module from your suit slot and you're back to um, normal mining. We'll save discussion about the teleporter functionality and the other enhancements for my part 3 video. A couple notes on your gear though. All the tools including the torch have their durability cranked. So you'll never run out of torch light with this one torch and your titanium pickaxe, knife and wood axe along with the compound bow will never need repair. You'll also notice that the uh, you have more inventory slots to work with and increased carrying capacity to make those mining trips worthwhile. You're also impervious to fall damage so jump off the nearest cliff and enjoy the drop. In Icarus you spend a lot of unproductive downtime sheltering from storms um, since I like building aspect of the game, there's uh, one of the first things I wanted to do was get rid of this. So I created a mod that basically made it sunny all, uh, you know, in the game all the time. You can see in the game the mods get rid of the HUD forecasting in the top right of the screen, which kind of never made any sense to me anyways, and completely removes the weather indicator for beautiful sunny days all the time in every biome. I kept this mod as a separate file, so if you want to, you can easily remove it and get the weather back into the game. So now you're fully equipped, let's un unbundle the uh, starter cabin kit. Right mouse click and consume Pete's starter cabin kit. And you will see all the elements set up um, to basically build a stone cabin right away. There's nothing special about most of the equipment except the benches now have more inventory slots to work with. Uh, there is an enhancement though to the MXC furnace from the workshop um, in that it can be placed anywhere inside or out and it smelts all ores and is faster than an electric furnace. With all gear um, and a place to sleep, you can now hunt for that perfect place to set up shop and build and explore to your heart's content. That's it for part two video. Stay tuned for part three where I'll go into some detail about how to use the teleporter and some discussion of the other aspects of the mod.